Today I'm going to show you how to get started with the EU Image Optimizer and show you some of the basics on setting up the plugin. So once the plugin is activated, you're going to want to check the top of your screen for any errors and further instructions. On this site we have no errors, so that's good. If there are errors, then you'll need to take care of that first, like EU Image Optimizer requiring exec. At the top, there is a link to the plugin support forum. So if you need any help, especially with any of those errors that might pop up, uh, that's where you can uh, post your question and I will do my best to help you out. The next thing we see here is the plugin status, which has a nifty counter to tell you how much you've saved so far. This is a brand new install, so not much. The plugin includes binaries for JPEG Tran, Optiping, uh, Gifsicle, as well as uh, PingQuant and WebP, which are options uh, that we'll talk about in other videos. If it's able to use those, uh, these will all be green. And PingOut is an optional tool that is not enabled or not included by default either. Uh, the graphics libraries here are only used for conversion and you supports four different uh, libraries but you just need one of them available to do conversion. Uh, for local optimization, safe mode needs to be off, exec needs to be enabled, and then you also need to have uh, either the file info functions or the MIME content type functions. If you're using the cloud API, uh, then you can get by with just get image size. And then we don't care about safe mode or exec either when you're using the API. So if you can't or don't want to run with the exec enabled or the utilities won't run on your server for whatever reason, you can purchase a cloud optimization key uh, to offload the image processing to our servers instead. This can also be desirable if you anticipate a lot of image processing and you don't want to overload your server. On some hosts, like WP Engine, it is required that you use the API to process images and we have a cloud-only version of the EU Image Optimizer that will work for uh, web hosts like that. That's not it. There it is. Uh, so it's U Image Optimizer Cloud. And again, that one's required on WP Engine. It's a lot lighter weight, less code, no binaries bundled with it. Um, and so you can use that if you're using the API. So under the basic settings here, we have the ability to strip all JPEG and ping metadata. This is on by default, but you can turn it off to preserve your image metadata and EXIF information. Uh, so by default, the plugin only does lossless optimization so that there is no loss of quality at all. If you aren't concerned with pixel perfect optimization, we also have lossy optimization for both JPEG and PNG. The biggest reason people use our API is for the advanced lossy compression available. With our smart compression algorithms, we're able to maximize the compression and maximize the quality instead of the usual quality loss associated with lossy optimization. So purchasing an API key unlocks all the advanced compression levels available within U. So for JPEGs, maximum lossless compression uses the API to get even more savings on your image optimization. Lossy compression uses JPEG Mini, whereas Maximum Lossy uses Tiny Ping, or Tiny JPEG, sorry, both of which achieve some pretty amazing results with minimal loss of quality. Things are mostly the same here with Ping images, um, except there's two lossless modes because the Maximum mode can be quite time consuming. It uses the advanced compression tools uh, to achieve even better savings on lossless compression. 
Our PDF compression was a brand new feature in version 2.7 and also has lossless and lossy options. If you're still a bit on the fence about lossy optimization, you can try it out for yourself on a couple images at jpegmini.com or tinyping.com, depending on which, which options you want to go with. You can try them both out and see what you like better. Lastly, uh, we also have a throttling or delay feature, which allows you to insert a delay between images when running bulk optimization to reduce the risk of overloading your server. This is highly recommended if you're using shared hosting or even managed hosting so that you don't go over your web host's usage limits. So that's all for this video. Happy optimizing.